Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. I've got a lot to talk about today, so I hope you're in for this, but it's something that uh, I think is really important for you to know, especially if you're trying to get into YouTube, or if you, at least you're trying to get into YouTube and make money off of YouTube. Yeah, be prepared for this one. So, there's something that I think you need to know. You know, there's something that's really common with a lot of famous YouTubers out there. They all have something in common, which is drone footage. Today we're gonna be talking about drones. I don't know if you caught that from the title and the thumbnail. And how you can legally fly drones here, at least in the US. Uh, to those of you, to those of you not living in the US, I am I'm sorry, I'm not as well informed with other countries and their uh, drone laws. However, I'm pretty familiar with the laws here in the US. Now, I do want to preface this with I'm not a professional, uh, at least not yet. I'm actually working on my part 107 certification. Uh, we'll get into that in just a moment, but I'm working on being a certified unmanned aircraft pilot and this is stuff that I want to share with you guys that I have learned throughout my process of becoming more educated on the idea of flying drones and whether or not you actually can for YouTube. So yeah, we're going to talk about that and let's go to the studio. Yeah. Alright, there's a few things you should know about flying drones. Um, and again, I'm not a certified instructor. However, because I'm in the process of getting my own certification, I do want to pass along some knowledge to those of you who are maybe considering getting a drone this year or considering getting someone else a drone this year. The thing with drones, are they legal to fly? That's the big question, right? Are they legal in the US to fly? And the answer is yes, they are legal to fly. As a hobbyist, you can fly them. There are certain rules that you have to follow. We're gonna go over a couple of them this episode. However, if you guys have more questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. You can go to my Instagram, I'll link it below. You can go there, DM me, ask me more questions. I'm pretty knowledgeable on the subject right now and I'm way willing to help you guys out because I wish that someone was helping me out a year ago when I first decided that I wanted to do this. Second question, how, how high can I fly my drone? How far can I fly my drone? The legal limits that the FAA has instructed everyone to follow is you're only allowed to fly a drone 400 AGL. What is AGL? AGL is above ground level, 400 feet above where the ground, where ground level actually begins. Uh, there is a mean sea level and above ground level. Mean sea level, really, you don't have to follow. It's always 400 feet above ground level. Now, there are certain circumstances where there might be obstacles in the area that are well above 400 feet. You are actually able to fly 400 feet within that obstacle in all directions of the obstacle. So you can fly 400 feet above, 400 feet to the side, 400 feet to the other side. You just cannot be within the 400 feet of that obstacle just to maintain safety on your own end. Another big question that people ask out there is, what is airspace? Where do I fly? How do I know when to fly in the specific airspace? A lot of the time, you may not know. <laughs> And, and that's okay. I mean, honestly, as a hobbyist, you're always going to be forgiven because you may not know. Uh, it's not your responsibility to truly and fully understand 
where you are and what you're doing. If you're a hobbyist and you're not really trying to make money off of this, just be careful. Fly within the limits that, you know, the FAA has given you of the 400 feet and just try to not fly anywhere that's restricted in terms of whether it's restricted airspace or restricted uh, areas. Maybe it's private property and you did not get permission to fly over that private property. Do not fly there. Do not fly over people. That can cause an issue. Can you fly over people? Yes, you can. However, you do have to have a certificate to do that. And those people have to be aware that they're being flown over. Back to airspace. What airspace can you fly in? You can fly in Class G airspace. Class G airspace is the airspace you want to fly in, honestly. That is technically uncontrolled airspace. That means that there's no real rules out in those areas. Obviously, you still have to follow the 400 foot rule, but otherwise you can fly in those areas and the FAA does not control that airspace. What controlled airspaces can you fly in? Well, let's go over the class A, B, C, D, and E airspace. Class C and D airspace, you have to get permission from ATC or from the FAA. So honestly, if you find yourself in class C or D airspace, don't fly there. What about class B and class E airspace? In certain times you can fly in these areas. Uh, class B airspace, you technically can't fly in, but you don't have to worry about class B airspace because it's actually a little bit higher in the air versus the other airspaces of C and D and E. Class E airspace, again, it's another one where there's gonna be certain times you're gonna to have to ask for permission and other times you may not ask for permission. Why am I talking about legally flying a drone? And what do I mean by legal? If you are a YouTuber out there, or if you want to become a YouTuber, or if you want to turn your hobby into a paid gig, you're gonna to have to get a license. You're gonna to have to get a certificate certifying that you understand the rules that the FAA has set for people to fly. If you're a YouTuber or a striving YouTuber, you might wanna get the license. Your intent changes when it comes to making videos. Once you start to say, I'm a full-time YouTuber, or you start to develop a consistent source of income from YouTube, whether it's through AdSense, through sponsorships, I don't know, however it is that you choose to make money through YouTube, the intent is no longer, I'm doing this for fun. The intent is, I'm trying to make money. And if you're trying to make money and fly your drone at the same time, the FAA will never allow that to happen. I wanna inform you guys on what it is that I'm learning as a developing filmmaker, as a uh, artist in this industry. You know, I, I wanna bring you guys along on the journey. If I'm learning something, I want you to learn something. Be safe out there, you know? At the end of the day, if you have a drone and you choose to fly it, the rest of the drone community is in your hands because if you mess up, there's a possibility that you ruin it for all of us. And I don't want you to be that person either. That's really all I have to say on this topic. Obviously, if you guys want to hear more from me uh, as I go on this journey, you know, developing my skill set as a drone pilot, hopefully by the end of this next week, I'm a certified drone pilot. I might even let you guys know on YouTube. If anything, I will definitely let you know on my Instagram, link in the description. I just want to help out the community. I want to make sure that we're all good and that we all get to have fun doing what we do. All right, guys, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.